So today we're going to show you a quick and easy way of calculating the flow rate of your reverse osmosis system. I have with me a stealth 150 gallon per day RO unit, but you can use these same steps to calculate the uh, flow rate of any reverse osmosis system. So your flow rate is based on three variables. It's based on water pressure, water temperature, and water quality. So there's an industry standard for measuring the flow rate of membranes, and it's 65 PSI, 77 degree feed water, 500 ppm feed water. So the, the 500 ppm, the, the ppms of the water, I haven't really noticed in my experience have a huge effect on flow rate, but the pressure and the temperature definitely do. So. Right here on our stealth, we got a good 65 PSI going steady. And I took a measurement of the temperature of the incoming water earlier, and it's uh, 73 degrees, 73, 74, wavering between the two. So we should get a really accurate flow rate today. So I got me a stopwatch here and a beaker with millimeter readings on it. And we are going to time it for a minute and see how many millimeters we get in a minute. Now we're talking in gallons per hour here, so once we get this reading, we'll multiply it by 60 to see how many millimeters we get in an hour, and then we'll divide that by 3,800 to see how many gallons per hour we're getting. I just know from doing previous uh, calculations that there's roughly 3,800 milliliters in a gallon, a little less, but it's close enough for the reading that we're doing right now, so. Okay, we got about five seconds left, so we're gonna pull the water out in three, two, one, and that's a minute right there. So we got about 420 milliliters in a minute, but we want to convert that to hours. So let's take 420 and multiply that times 60, 60 minutes in an hour. That gives us 25,200 milliliters in an hour, but we want to convert that to gallons. Now I know that there's roughly 3,800 milliliters in a gallon, a little bit less, but that's close enough for the measurements that we're taking today. So we'll divide that by 3,800, and there you have your gallons per hour, 6.6. .6. So that's a really good flow rate. That's a little above advertised. It's usually going to be around six gallons an hour. These membranes are flowing really good. So we'll see how many gallons that is in a 24-hour period times 24. And that's 159 gallons in a 24-hour period. And that's how you calculate the flow rate of your reverse osmosis system. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot us an email or call the 1-800 number and ask for tech support.